Okay, so now I've got the compressor housing in place and ready to install. Um, as a side note, you probably should have said this before, but before you take the turbo apart, it would probably be a good idea to mark the relationship of the turbo, uh, compressor housing, and exhaust housing in relationship to the center housing. I did not do that, so I'm just guessing. I know I can rotate and move these after installation, but it's just one of those things that I took it apart before I thought about that, so, oh well, we'll see what happens, I'm sure it'll be pretty close, but if not, then, I mean, worst case scenario, I have to loosen up this band clamp and rotate the exhaust side, no big deal. Uh, whenever you're going to go ahead and install the compressor housing, put on your, your large C-clamp first, and there's a slightly beveled side and you want to have that facing towards the exhaust side of the turbo okay because you want the flat side up against the flat part of the compressor housing and then go ahead and squeeze that with a pair of needle nose pliers uh, if you have some that are large enough to, for, this ex for this expansion that are 90 degrees that would probably be ideal uh, my 90 degree pliers don't go <laughs> quite that far apart, so I'll just use a regular pair and manage it. But I'll, I'll squeeze this clamp in, and before you do that, you may notice that the O ring has not been seated yet. In order to do that, what I've done in the past before I made this video is just take two hands and clamp down on one side and work your way around and eventually you'll get the whole the whole circumference here uh, clamped down enough so that you can get this uh, seat clamp in there makes it a lot easier and it'd probably be a lot easier than just trying to uh, push on the top of this and hope that everything gets in there correctly and doesn't cut an o-ring so uh, I would suggest trying that method first alright thanks